In this problem, we have two mixed numbers. We're going to need to change our mixed numbers into an improper fraction before we can apply the rules for multiplication. Okay, two and a half, we're, we're, we're taking two whole parts and making halves out of them, and then out of the last whole, we're, we're just using half of it. That's two whole things, two whole and one half of another. Mathematically, we can get this number by, by multiplying the, the denominator of the fraction times the whole number. So 2 times 2 is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have one more that uh, was just kind of hanging over. It wasn't, it wasn't a complete whole. So it's 2 times 2 is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And one half of another would be five halves. So this has been, this whole, this mixed number has successfully been changed to an improper fraction. Now we're going to change this one into an improper fraction. Three times the whole number, we can get three thirds out of one whole thing, and we have two of another, one, two. So we have five thirds in this equation. So this turns into five halves and this mixed number into to five thirds. At this point, we would want to check our diagonals to see if there was any way possible we could oh, simplify this before we do the multiplication. But unfortunately, there isn't. So we're going to take our numerators and multiply them. 5 times 5 is 25. And then multiply the denominators, would be 6. This is a, an improper fraction that we're going to rename as uh, in a simpler t terms. 25 divided by 6 is 4 because 4 times 6 is 24, and there is 1 remaining. So the answer to this mixed number multiplication would be 4 and 1 sixth. Let's look at another example. Our next problem, 3 and 1 third times 1 and 1 half. Two mixed numbers in this one. How many thirds can we get out of 3 whole? So if we separate these into thirds, we would get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and we also had one to begin with. So this fraction gives us 10 thirds. Mathematically, we could go 3 times the whole number, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 more is 10. 1 and 1 half, we can get 2 halves out of the whole number, but we already have 1, so that would be 3. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 more is 3 halves. Check our diagonals to see if there's anything we can reduce here, simplify. The 3's will work. 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into this 3 once. And 10 and 2, they're both even numbers. 2 goes into itself one time. Use it again. 2 divides into 10 five times. Now we're going to multiply our numerators. We will get 5 and 1. Uh, any, any fraction that has a, a, a denominator of 1 means it's whole. So this further reduces to just plain We need five. to change our mixed numbers into improper fractions to start. Of 12 whole pies, if we divide them into halves, we can get 24 halves out of this much of it, and one more that we started for with, 25 halves. 2 times 12 is 24, 25 times. Out of three whole pies we cut into fifths, we can get 15 pieces of it. 3 times 5 is 15, plus one more is 16, 16 fifths. Check on the diagonals to see if we can simplify at this point. Um, 25 and 5, yes, they both end in 5, so we can use 5 to, to simplify this. 5 divides into 5 once, 5 divides into 25 five times. 
And on the other diagonal, we have 2 and 16. Both of those are even numbers, so let's use our 2 since 2 is the only thing that will work into the 2 itself. 2 divides into eight, to 16 8 times. Now we're going to multiply our numerators and multiply our denominators and simplify that fraction as 40. Next one. Im improper fractions for our mixed number. 8 times 5 is 40 plus 2 more is 42. We have 42 eighths here. <clears throat> How many sevenths can we get out of five whole things and five that we already had? Well, 7 times 5 is 35, and 5 more is 40. So we can get 40 sevenths out of that. So let's check the diagonals in a hurry on this one. We're just hoping 8 and 40, both of those are even numbers. We could use a 2. But you could also use something larger if you recognize it. 8 times uh, 8 and 40 are both in the 8th line of multiplication. So 8 divides into itself once, and 8 divides into 40 five times. 42 and 7, they're in the 7th line of math. Because they're not both even, they don't both end in a 0 or a 5. Twin, twin double digits, no. Uh, 3 and 9 are not going to divide into 7 at a glance, so we're not even going to try this. But 7 will work because it's in the 7th line. 7 divides into itself once. 7 divides into 42 six times because you know your multiplication tables. Multiply tops. 6 times 5 is 30. Multiply the divisors. 1. We now have 30 as our simplified fractions.